Kicks.com. Today we are working out those arms. And I'm going to show you a way that you can do this as a complete arm workout. If you do it, I show you about three times through, or you can add as a nice arm workout finisher after you've done your normal arm workout. The bottom line is get ready for some pain. See, we're taking two common exercises, a bicep cable curl and a tricep cable push down. And if you don't have access to a machine like this, guys, don't tell me you can't do the workout because all you have to do is take an inexpensive band that you can work, uh, wrap over a pull-up bar in your own house. You can do your push downs with them. And of course, you can do the same thing down below, wrap a band, and you can do your curls. Here's the idea though. It's not just about the exercises you do. Most of all, it's about how you do the exercises. And today, because of the way we're going to do a dueling stack setup, we're going to make sure that you're getting the best of both worlds. High reps and low reps. The high reps are done so that you can ensure that you are feeling the mind-muscle connection, making the muscle contract the way it should. Too many guys just do workouts and never really actually try to place as much tension on the muscle they're trying to work. That's going to change here today. And of course, some guys fear the heavy weights and they don't, they don't even work on anything that's remotely heavy. You're not going to build bigger arm size if you avoid that all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up this one stack. Okay, and what we're gonna do is try to make sure, and again, with the bands, you're just gonna adjust the tension. Either stand a little closer, a little closer, a little further away. You adjust the tension accordingly. Here, we're gonna load up the stack and start at the very bottom here. For me, whatever it is that you can do, you wanna try to max out about six reps on your bicep curl. You're gonna curl as much as you can. I'm gonna do this real time with you in a second. And then you jump all the way to the top, the lighter rep, and now you do your tricep push downs. From there, you're gonna jump back to the bottom, but up. A little lighter two, uh, two, two plates. Then back up to the top, a little heavier two plates. A little lighter two plates, a little heavier two plates. A little lighter two plates, a little heavier two plates. And you're gonna pass your way all, all the way down. You go until you're doing the same thing all the way or at least as far as you can get. I happen to be able to do the same weight I can on a push down as I can on a curl, all right? So let's get this thing going. Here we go, so I'm starting on the bottom all the way. I'm gonna try to stack this bitch. And we're gonna come up. One, two, three, four. They don't make these things heavy enough for my biceps at least. Now we go back to the top. Now I just gotta slide this up. My only rest is however long it takes me to transition back to the top. From here, I'm really squeezing my tricep, okay? really hard. Now again, this weight is not that challenging, but because I'm really trying to contract my triceps at the bottom, I can make it challenging. Right back down, all the way to the bottom, and then I'm up two on the biceps. There we go. Again, up. Oh. 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 six. Back up to the top. Again, a little more challenging, but still really trying to go for the contraction. Back down. Sixteen.
All right, so you're getting the picture all the way down, but I'm gonna go heavy now. Go right in the middle for the biceps, and I'll come all the way up. I'll go light on the bicep, and I'll come all the way up. Heavy kind of triceps. So again, now, the biceps have done all the heavy work. At this point, it's really about contracting as hard as you possibly can through here. Feel it, especially as a fatigue. You're gonna to wanna to quit, but that's when you really need to focus on contracting as hard as you can. They want to, they want to pop. And all the way down to the bottom. Stacking the triceps. And there we have it. So guys, if you want, you can repeat this a few times here, take a rest obviously in between completed uh, stacks, and then do it as a complete arm workout. You'll get a lot of it, I promise you, because you're hitting, again, those two ends of the spectrum, the two most overlooked ends of the spectrum, hitting it heavy and really trying to focus on the contraction. If you want, use it as an arm workout finisher. Guys, this is just sort of a real small taste of what it's like to train like an athlete. You gotta push yourself, you gotta bring the intensity. We have so many different ways that we train arms. Matter of fact, we have a complete ultimate arms program. It's literally everything I know about training arms and how to get the best arm results possible in just six weeks. That program is over at athletics.com. In the meantime, if you found this helpful, if you like the fact that I put myself through the torture this time, make sure you let me know below and uh, maybe I'll do it a little bit more often. All right guys, I'll be back here again in just a couple days. See ya.